right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is going to maximize it and lead as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. Well, it doesn't get much bigger than this, Joe Rogan. The UFC welterweight championship of the world as the champion makes his way to the octagon, fighting out of that patented red corner. He has held this belt down for some time, but a lot of people think we could be looking at a new champion here tonight. The current champion, not one of them. He believes the hype is not real for the challenger. He believes he is much better than this young man, and now healthy, he is ready to prove that he's not just the best welterweight in the world at present, he is the greatest welterweight of all time. Winning this fight tonight against a significant challenger would certainly go a long way to proving just that. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, the referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Lovey. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 63 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Makhlakala, Russia. Introducing the challenger, Love. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to the I am room. very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is going to go ready? down right now. Fight. All right, here we go. UFC welterweight championship is up for grabs right now. Put him with that uppercut. Straight punch. 
That one hurt. Takedown defense has held up thus far. Double leg. Stuffed. And another takedown thwarted there. And the fighters engage in the clinch here right out of the shoot. Marco Madoff's able to get the underhook here. He's got double underhooks here. Let's go, guys, work! Oh, he pummels under, now he's got the underhook. Duffs the takedown without issue. He pummels, now he's got double underhooks. The first takedown attempt is there. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. Three minutes and counting to go here in round one. Nurmago Medov going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight ending intentions. Excellent sweep. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Oh, veteran stuff there. He pummels under. Now he's got the underhook. Mago Medov gets double on the hooks now. He tries to pass here, but gets shut down. And he switches his stance yet again. Trying to go for the single leg takedown. Doesn't get it. Nermago Medov going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. Look at that. Nice. Stuffed that one. Pummels out of double underhooks here. Hard shot from the clinch. Stuffs that takedown attempt. You'll need a better shot than that to get him down. He hit him with the hook. Double underhooks now, Joe. And pummels under and out of double underhooks. Nice brawl. Got double underhooks. One overhook, one underhook. Oh, useful sprawl there as he's able to avoid the takedown shot. Hook in the clinch there by Nermako Medov. And that one certainly found the target. Nice hook to the body. Stuffed. Oh, he shoots for a takedown again. He's got double underhooks, Joe. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. Nice hammer fist. 30 seconds now to go in the round. seconds to go in round one. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Final seconds of round one. He pummels out of double underhooks. Nermago Medov gets double underhooks here in the clinch. Normally now he'll try to change levels and go for a take. Take a look at it again here. And here's a perfect sprawl to defend the takedown. 
And he has excellent timing with this sprawl to defend the takedown. Brittany Palmer is here, as always. So here we go with round two. Good first round in the book. Both fighters had their moment. Again, I'm glad I'm not a judge, right? A difficult round to score. We will see, though, Joe, if there's an uptick in the aggression here in round two. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Nermago Meta. Yeah, he's getting lit up here. Good punch. Here's a shot deep. He's looking to pass. Trying to spin to the back. He's in half guard. Oh, pretty good work here from the bottom, Joe, as he tags him with that punch. Ooh, he is throwing that right, right hand. with fight ending intentions. Side control again. Looks like he's got a north south choke here from the north-south position to get the choke. What he wants to do is get his arm under the back of the neck. Once he's got the arm under the back of the neck, locking it in place, he needs to get his left hand and his right hand together. So he has to move the other arm out of the way. Clap, That's and there it is. is. Use great technique to get the choke and get the win. Well, yeah, Joe, he told us during fight week he's been working dutifully on his submission game and he was going to look for an opening here tonight. Safe to say he found one near-perfect setup on the choke. It was sunk in deep, and his opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. And here's the end. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. And there he is, the UFC welterweight champion of the world. What a moment for him here tonight as he earns the victory by submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 15 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still, the undisputed USC Walter White champion of the world, Abiba the Eagle Nubamogera. So on the strength of a win by submission here tonight, he remains the UFC's undisputed welterweight champion. And not sure if he's brought to tears here in the corner, Joe, but they are celebrating and embracing. This was a tough fight for them. It was a difficult training camp, a most worthy number one contender. And finally now, after defending the belt,